How's it going, folks? So I, I think you all knew I'd be doing a reaction to this. Uh, Dark Sky has released a new song here called Fools, and I'd be a fool not to check this out because their previous single, Signs of the Time, phenomenal. I love that song. Love that song. And so we have another one here. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this. Their new album is coming out August 4th, so we're getting there. We're getting there. Still a little bit over a month to go, but in the meantime, they've delivered us uh, another song, another taste of the upcoming album, and I'm just stoked. Super stoked. So without further ado, let's give this bad boy a listen, shall we? Rangers?
Well, <laughs> any of you folks out there who, who know me or been following my channel, y'all know, if not evident by my behavior during this song, that this is just right down my alley. I mean, this is just right smack down my alley. I, and I, one thing I'll, I'll say too, because I was kind of thinking it while listening to this song here is, you know, there's times that I start to get burnt out a little bit because I, the volume of music that I'm listening to is, it's a lot. It's a lot. So I'm just listening to different albums day in and day out constantly. And at certain points, and even for the reactions and all that kind of stuff, just everything, the, the sheer volume, sometimes I, I, I hit little stages of burnout where I get a little fatigued. I get a little just kind of uh, disinterested isn't the right word, but just uh, a little... I guess fatigued is the right word, and, and so I'm just listening to albums, I'm kind of like, yeah, you know, this is standard fare, or like, you know, yeah, this is good, you know, but it, you know, it, it, it is what it is, and this and that, and sometimes I'm getting a little rut, I guess you could say. And then it, it usually takes something, an album or a song, that, that kind of breaks me out of that rut. And earlier today, I actually listened to an album uh, that, that really kind of shook me out of that as far as that goes. But, you know, even with the reactions, I kind of sat down. I was like, all right, I got to do a reaction here. I was excited for this. But, man, did it, it, it just delivered in spades. It, and it really kind of gave me my energy back. It really reinvigorated me for, you know, just the, the channel and, and just, you know, all, all this stuff in general because it's something that just really kind of, it's so creative, it's so neat, it's so fun, and it just is so awesome that, it, again, it just really captures my attention and kind of reminds me why I listen to this music to begin with and why I, I love kind of doing the reactions and all that kind of stuff. This song has really just kind of given me my spirit back, if you will, and that happens from time to time. And so, yeah, I mean... If that doesn't tell you how much I love this song right off the rip, I, I don't know what would. But this song, just incredible. And like I said, I had really high hopes because Signs of the Time blew me away. But then they just come back with this, and it just and it, it blows me away all over again. Like, it's so cool the way it starts out. First of all, I got to say that the keyboardist, legend. Legend. Uh, the, the keyboard in this song legendary. This dude is a master of, of what he's doing here with the keyboards. I mean, that really is what gives the song its greatest kind of personality. But the guitars are really great too, and, and the bass, you know, with kind of providing like this neat little rhythm, you know, counteracting kind of like the, the keyboard. The, the two working in tandem work really, really well, but the keyboard is really what makes this song pop. But again, I love the rhythm of the guitars and the bass kind of, you know, it just gives you like this cool like kind of groove while the keyboard is doing the, these nifty little things. The guitar solo was great, but anywho, I'm getting ahead of myself. But when the song first started, very 80s kind of melodic rock style, and then the guitars come in, and, and which again helps provide kind of some power to the song. The guitars come in kind of heavy and with this cool riff and, and vibe and it, it just really brings power to the song and it's like okay this isn't like you know a, a typical 80s AOR kind of song you know there's some more to it here they really put a cool spin on things and then not only does that come in and, and really kind of take you by surprise and take the song in like a, a cool direction from just you know an 80s AOR melodic rock what have you but then you get those neat little tunes in there, that neat little melody, like the bum, bum. I, I, I can't do it, but it, it just, it, it's so, so cool that the keyboard, like the tune, and then the guitar riff and everything, and it's, it's just so fun and so neat and, and so groovy. And then, uh, of course, Frank, uh, with his vocals, just flawless as usual. It just 
brings such great energy to the song. And yeah, I mean, I, his vocals are just, yeah, I'm a big fan, but you know, it, it just, he does such a great job here on this song as well. But just, again, the energy, the delivery, really capturing kind of the, the spirit of the song and, and just really, really awesome job there. And then it's kind of neat because I didn't realize it at first but the song even, not only does it have like an 80s AOR vibe, but then it's also got kind of like a, a heavy power metal kind of vibe to it as well, mixed in with just some fun other little flavors, mostly because of the keyboard, but even the, 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 the guitar riff and all that stuff too. But not only does it have all that, but then it, it's got like a tinge of kind of like a, a, a gothic, slightly dark sort of vibe hidden in there. It's nestled in there. And that became very apparent with the really, really cool Vincent Price style uh, uh, spoken word section there, like, you know, in the bridge area and all that stuff makes you think of like Thriller or something like that. And then I noticed like even musically, there is that, that tinge of kind of gothic uh, uh, sound or, or, or feeling there. It's subtle. It's there, you know, and it, it's not quite apparent right off the rip, but again, with, with that really cool spoken word section, it really brings to attention that vibe. And so it has all these really, really cool things kind of combined into one, and it creates just this glorious song. I, I love the, the melody of the chorus. It's so punchy, and it's just really great. With everything around it, the drum work in the song too was so awesome, you know, again, because it's got this really neat kind of riff, this really neat kind of rhythm to it, almost a bounce to it at times, and then a little bit more driven, and then you kind of get this cool little bounce to it again, and, and the drums just do the, such a great job. And everything in the guitar solo was, was really good, went really well with the song. And I mean, I, I could go on and on, but this song, I, just so, so good. Those keyboards. Uh, just phenomenal and, and everything else because it's one thing you have some cool keyboard melodies and stuff and then the rest of the song though just kind of falls flat you know and just solely relies on the keyboard but that's not what happened here yes like the keyboard to me it is the the driving force of the song that really helps make it stand up apart really gives it its personality but then you have everything else that that doesn't just solely exist there just to exist it contributes to what's already been laid down and it, it all just combines to create a very cool very unique sounding power metal song with 80s aor with a tinge of goth and then a vincent price style uh, uh, spoken word in there it just Fantastic. Uh, you know, I think you all knew where this was going. This song easily gets a fantastic from me, which if you all don't know it, that's the highest praise we give here on this channel for a song that just goes above and beyond. And what a song. I, I, I just love it. I absolutely love it. I, I cannot uh, overstate how much this song thrilled me. So, uh, oh, wow. Dark Sky are, are, are pulling out all the stops here. They, they are uh, coming at us with a, a vengeance, and I cannot wait for this album. August 4th, we're getting there, we're getting there, and I, I'm expecting something stellar because they, they just keep delivering and delivering and delivering. So, yeah, what a song. That's Fools by Dark Sky. Let me know, folks, in the comments down below. What did you think of this bad boy? Uh, how does it stack up to you for the, the previous two singles released for the new album? How excited are you for the new album? Let me know in the comments down below. And uh, I'm going to go listen to the song again right about now. So thank you all so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you all next time. Ranger.